I do like looking at like the mic'd up stuff. Is there typically a lot of trash talk on the field? Everybody's different. <laughs> Look at this one. Miles Sanders. Somebody DM'd Miles Sanders. Why you was playing like that made me lose all my damn money. <laughs> just, he actually responded to the guy on Instagram and <laughs> told him to go F himself. <laughs> I love whenever somebody talks some smack to like an NFL guy or like whatever, you know, public figure, whatever you want to call it. And then they actually like come back at him. I'm like, good. Like they freaking deserve it, dude. Halftime show was underwhelming. What'd you guys think of it? I think the halftime show was like a five out of 10. Like here's the thing, she performed well, like she sang well. Look, we have the floating platforms and stuff, like that's cool. I mean, it's like I'm playing Super Smash, whatever, right? I feel like when you have to follow up last year's halftime show was absolute, I mean, the game was good too, but the halftime show was absolutely incredible. Absolutely, one of the best halftime shows ever, in my opinion. So when you have to follow that up, it kind of blows. Be like, oh, well, she's pregnant. Like Rihanna's pregnant. Like she can't like move around a whole, I'm like, yeah. So why don't you get like some guest stars to come in? Cause last year they had Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. And then all of a sudden, a few minutes later, it's like, boom, 50 cent is hanging upside down from the, the rafters of the crate. And it's like, damn, that's crazy. And then all of a sudden, a few minutes later, what was it? Like Mary J. Bly shows up a few minutes later. Boom, Kendrick Lamar shows up a few minutes later. Boom, Eminem shows up a few minutes later. It was insane. With this year's halftime show, I feel like with this year's halftime show, she sings well. She has a lot of really good, well-known songs. They spend the budget on the platforms. As far as budget goes, you know, they don't get paid at all. The NFL doesn't pay people for the Super Bowl halftime show. They give them a budget, like a sponsor budget to put on the show, but the artists don't get paid. No, it wasn't. It was like watching a bunch of retirement home people performing. What? Dude. Last year's Super Bowl halftime was incredible. Like it was like legend after legend. After, it was it was nuts. It was crazy. My dumbass thought that was Andy Reid up there on stage. <laughs> okay, dude. Come on, man. She's pregnant. Welcome to the Super Bowl where the commercial, the entertainment, the actual game doesn't matter. You know, I think that's one of the best things about the Super Bowl is that it ends up being like a cultural event for people that don't care about football to watch the game for the commercials. So you end up having like Super Bowl parties and people hanging out with people that just don't even care about football, but they're like, I don't know, I just wanna watch the commercials. Rihanna's halftime show looked a little familiar. Dude, I actually love this. I love that like people saw this and they immediately were like, wait, this looks like Smash, immediately. Recency bias? Yeah, I think it's recency bias. Rihanna's unborn baby made it to the Super Bowl before the Detroit Lions. <laughs> Have they never even been to the Super Bowl? <laughs> Rihanna, look out. <laughs> this one's great. See, I love this. This is great, dude. This is so good. I love this one. Me watching S fans Super Bowl stream. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thanks, dude. <laughs> People playing in Super Bowl 57, people boycotting the Harry Potter game. Dude, true, dude. <laughs> this is an actual good one. I don't get it. That's what they call JK Rowling. Yeah, that's what they call JK Rowling. But the turf, dude, the turf actually was so bad. Trans exclusionary radical feminist. Okay, that's what it stands for. My dog following me into the kitchen to get a snack. That's pretty good, actually. Going through this thread before the game and then checking it after was the funniest thing I saw last night. The NFL has spent two years preparing the grass for tonight's field at the Super Bowl. The grass was grown at a local sod farm in Phoenix. It was installed two weeks ago, and the field has been rolled out each morning for daily sunshine. Total caused $800,000. 800K for a slip and slide? True. Unbelievable, man. Hey, that is pretty damn sick, though. The real Super Bowl MVP is George Tilma. He is 94 years old, and he's been the groundskeeper for the Athletics Royals and the Chiefs. Wait a second. He is the real MVP. <laughs> Wait a second. He's prepared fields for 37 Pro Bowls, several World Series, and every single Super Bowl in history. So he's just been doing this for, like, literally 57 years. That guy touches grass? Dude, this guy is grass. Rihanna's baby during the halftime? <laughs> it's like lights and stuff freaking out. My Eagles lost the Super Bowl, okay. To a rolling left with the grain, and down he goes. I'm Josh Tupu. Whopper, 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 junior double, triple, whopper. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, you gotta be kidding me, man. Flames real taste with this is so good. <laughs> well, we're gonna find out a little later. Oh my goodness! Oh, Alan oh my Burns. gosh! 
in this half. Oh my! Double them up or mix and match. Whatever you want, we're into that. Crazy, man. Crazy. That Tubi Super Bowl commercial had people tripping. This actually got me. Dude, that is so funny, dude. Wait, that's not us. That was a commercial. <laughs> I think that was actually the best commercial. I, I actually think that was probably because I think it was the most I think it was the most effective commercial. <laughs> oh my god. Dad's pissed. Oh. Dad's pissed. Hey! Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> Who's on the remote? Get up, everybody! Get up! <laughs> 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 Everybody, <laughs> dude, that is so funny, dude. Oh, that is so funny, man. Who's this? His, he's uh, Mr. Palm Beach. Wait, yes or no? Is it giving S fan? That is giving S fan vibes. Oh That's my like god, S vibes from like Super Mario <laughs> Sunshine or something. He has long ass hair too. Wait, shit, no. <laughs> No, that is that's what? weird. What is going on? What this is, is happening? What the hell? Wait, that's actually S fan. What's what? going on? What the fuck? And he's your computer guy, and he fixes shit. What? What the? the one. That was step one. It was to get an S fan. You're a genius. Step one is get an S fan. You're so fucking good. Oh yeah. Well, I bet you don't have a. Uh... What the hell? That is so funny. Snoop Dogg said Jalen Hurts is the top three QB in the NFL and only QBs who can take over Jalen is Joe Burrow and Pat Mahomes. What? There is no way in our minds we would have ever thought we would be asking which quarterbacks would we take over Jalen Hurts and you couldn't get five of them. That says... Only ones you take over Jalen Hurts is Patrick Mahomes and Joe Burrow. All the rest of them niggas, no. Jalen Hurts is top three now because Snoop Dogg said it. Better than all of us. Okay, it's a conversation with this guy, or it's a conversation. No, with it ain't. It's because Dude. of what we believe. The you know what my problem is with this? Why the hell does Snoop Dogg got a Vizio TV? Like, you can't, come on, Samsung, LG, Sony, you get a Vizio? Like, why did Snoop Dogg go and buy this TV at freaking Black Friday? He got a 60 inch for like 300 bucks. Like, what? Those people. Why Gilly go off on the Cowboys and Commanders like that when he's congratulating the Chiefs? Stung like a motherfucker. Ain't no motherfucking hater. Congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs last night. It stung like a motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. But this is what I do want to say. Um, to all you niggas that just keep calling my phone, and y'all not Kansas City Chiefs fans, I don't understand that. Like, you niggas calling my phone, oh, gee, I told you, fuck you, tell me, nigga. You a Dallas Cowboys fan, nigga. Y'all niggas ain't one since they took cocaine out the league, nigga. Since they stopped letting players snort that good old, yeah, yo, you niggas ain't one shit. Fuck you mean you telling me, man? Well, yo. How you out here celebrating other niggas' wins, man? You wasn't a part of that shit, man. Got a nigga from the uh, old-time Redskins, Washington Commanders fan. Hit me talking about, damn, OJ, fuck you on my line for me. <laughs> the last time you niggas won, the original Scarface was in theaters, bitch. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about, man? The fuck up off my line, man. Shout out to the Kansas City Chief fans, man. Congratulations. All the rest of you niggas, y'all niggas better keep posting memes and shit. I don't give a fuck about that. Don't call my motherfucking phone talking shit when you niggas was already lost. You niggas already sitting at home on some loser shit. What did we do? Shannon Sharp reaction to the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl has me crying. Told you Chiefs would win by three. Buckner walks it off. <laughs> they call me Snake Eye Willie. Because I can call the game before they happen. What's one of my famous quotes? If I tell you grass will turn to cheese, what you guys gonna do? You know what's so interesting about Shannon Sharp? He, ha he has such this like specific way of speaking. The cadence of how he speaks, the way his face is like animated, it, it it's like mesmerizing. Like it's just like funny to watch him. It's so distinct. Like, it's just interesting to watch him speak. Quit your job, start hustling crackers. You'll be wealthy beyond your wildest dreams. <laughs> now I'm gonna be on this old report here. 
This old Shea by the 48. Just sitting in his living room right drinking my If you had to go out and get you, got your bottle, go out and get you one and support your own. Let there be no more questions. The best quarterback in football is Patrick Mahomes. Two regular season MVPs, two Super Bowl MVPs, two 5,000 yard passing seasons, three Super Bowl appearances, all in five years, and he's won two of them. Skip Bayless, there's nothing else you can say right now. He's the best quarterback in football, and you got no excuses. I'm going to be on this report to you hard tonight because I deserve it. I deserve everything that I have coming to me. <laughs> <laughs> I tickle me. Skip Bailey, you don't want to see me tomorrow. Got something special for y'all. Got something real special for you tomorrow. Tune in, Undisputed. 9.30 Eastern. You don't want to miss it. I think I'll make Skip really mad tomorrow. I think y'all ready for him to say, my turn, and I ain't gonna let him talk. What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> I better the report you hard. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I might be tipsy. <laughs> Skip Bayless, she's on top. Eagles, y'all got a dynasty? Not. She's got the dynasty. Dude, I'll be honest. I think the Eagles are going to be good for a while. Do they have any contracts expiring? Oh, wait, they have a lot of contracts expiring? Oh, well, then, never mind. I take it back. Drewski was roasting Kevin Hart's a drunk ass. Oh, this nigga think he a GM, bro. Nigga, you ain't no coach, man. Sit down, bro. <laughs> the nigga think he calling plays from up here and shit. You ain't calling plays, nigga. <laughs> the drunk ass stressing up. <laughs> Boozy sounds hurt after finding out Rihanna's pregnant again during her Super Bowl performance. Man, I know Rihanna ain't pregnant, man, bro. She man, she's she's pregnant, man. Man, man, bro, I know it ain't, hey, bro. Again. <laughs> I swear. Look at that stomach. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, I know Rihanna ain't. Oh uh, man. We're here at the Super Bowl. The Eagles can. At any time. At any time. <laughs> Straight bangs on your neck. At any time. Huh? Go Cowboys. Dude, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like. I feel like Kevin Hart comes off as. as he's just like a gnat. Like, it's just like, he's just like a little fly that just like flies around and like pesters all the other celebrities. Just, just as annoying as possible. <laughs> just like, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, ankle biter. Yeah, exactly. Like, and Shaq's just like sitting there minding his own business. Is there any other good ones? Oh, frick. It's me. <laughs> it's me, dude. <laughs> Look, dude, the guy pushed the box in front of him. At the last second, dude, the box got pushed in front of him. Look, you see that? He pushed the box in front of him. Unbelievable, dude. Ha um, ha, was good to see you at Gronk Beach. Hope you had a good time. I was the random worker who said OTK less than three. Oh, nice. What's up, dude? Thank you for the $5, man. Did you see the clip? That was so funny, dude. That's the guy, chat. The perfect timing. That's actually him. That's so funny, man. Thank you for the five bucks, dude.